what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Lisey Nicole today I have a pretty simple video for you guys I recently got a question about how to use lecture Anki decks along with pre-made step Anki decks and that's actually a great question um, I do use both because our bi-weekly exams are written by our professors and while a lot of the material will be the same as the high yield step material some of it isn't <laughs> so um, I'd rather just make sure I've studied everything just so I can get through those bi-weeklies and then focus my studying on steps. So I will show you all of this on the computer, but basically what I do is, um, and you can find part of this in the video that I did on my study routine. So what I do is I will study both the pre-made Anki decks and my lecture decks up until my test. So we had a test today, for example. This was a bi-weekly, so it was written by the professors. After today, I will suspend all of the lecture cards associated with this test, but I will keep using the ones in the pre-made Anki decks because I am not gonna see any of the material from today's test again until the final, and the final is NBME style. So let me just show you that on the computer. All right, guys, so here we are. Um, so in one of our lectures, uh, they focus heavily on the liver. So let's say I say, okay, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. I'm going to watch that video. I'm also going to watch the video on bile and bilirubin. And let's say that's all I need for that lecture. So before I have my lecture, I will go ahead and watch those videos. And I usually do this in the evening. And then that same evening, Unless, this, unless the videos are too long. Sometimes there's quite a few boards and beyond videos you need to watch and it's just gonna take you a while. So you can split this between uh, the evening before or the morning before lecture. Um, but then I would go in and see, I have, this fall 2022 is full of my personal Anki decks. Lightyear is a deck that you can download and I talk about where you can get that in one of my other videos. But you would go in and when you first download this deck, you want to suspend all of the cards. And so this is what it looks like. And this looks really confusing because I have a lot of decks downloaded, but don't worry about that. You go down to you see BAB for boards and beyond. Um, this is GI, so liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. I would unsuspend these cards. They're already unsuspended because I've already studied these. But if this was my first time looking at it, I would unsuspend these. And I would go under the clinical section because remember, um, this was broken up. So we have anatomy, we have GI physiology, and we have clinical. So I love how specific the breakdown is. Um, so under clinical, let's say, well, we didn't really talk about that. Let's go under physiology. Here we go. So I would unsuspend all the bile cards and unsuspend all the bilirubin cards. And then, you know, Anki would generate a certain amount of cards that I have to do from that lecture that day. Go ahead and annotate. And this is the lecture that all of that came from. And again, I have a video on exactly how I make my own Anki card, so I don't feel like I need to talk too much about this, but I'll talk about it just a little. So I have fall 2022, digestive, week one, um, physiology of the liver and biliary tract, and that's this lecture here. Um, so basically, I've already made my cards, but what I would do is add, and then just the things that your professors emphasize that are important, you can make Anki cards on it. I want to learn this anatomy, so let's say I take this and I do image occlusion. And um, you can include it however you want. I'm not actually gonna add this card because I already have my cards, but you know, you can block out certain stuff and whatever. So you do that process, you go through this whole lecture, and um, you know, once you get to the end of the lecture, you now have an Anki deck that's dedicated to that lecture content. And so it's the physiology of the liver and biliary tract. So now basically you're gonna have new cards in your lecture deck here. You're also gonna have new cards in your light year deck here. And you treat those just as if they were one deck. If it makes you feel better, you can make your deck a subset of that one, but I don't do it that way. I like to see them separately. But you would do your Anki cards like if it was just one deck. All the new cards from this deck, finish those that day. 
all the new cards in the light year deck finish those that day of course these numbers of reviews are going to go up as you watch more boards and beyond videos you're going to unsuspend more cards here you're going to be making more of your lecture cards and i just go through all these cards every single day leading up to a test um, like I said, once I get to test day, which now I'll do this because we just had a test today, pretty much all of this week one material, we are not going to need to review again, at least not from the lecture slides, because um, the only time I see all this stuff again is going to be on the final, and the final is NDME style. My professors are not writing those questions. They're just choosing from a question bank of retired step mm -hmm. questions. So using the step Anki decks is really going to be the most efficient thing for me to do. So I can literally just go in here, week one, control A, and then suspend. Well, I'll just do control A, control J. Um, now, this is an exception, actually, because there are some things like the physiology of the liver and biliary tract even though that lecture was given in this testing cycle we actually didn't talk about it that much or it wasn't heavily represented on the test so i'm going to keep that unsuspended because that's going to be for my next exam um but everything else yeah we can go ahead and get rid of that so now this process is basically going to start over. So my light year cards, I do not suspend anything there because I still want to review this material. I just want to streamline my studying to the stuff that's relevant for step style questions. So you do not do anything with light year. You never want to be suspending anything here. So we're pretty much done with this week one deck. Um, it's currently week two. So any new lectures that we have this week that will be in our next testing cycle, I will put under week two. And I will continue that process again where I do both my personal cards as well as my light year cards. Um, so as you can see, I definitely have a few cards that I need to get through. I probably honestly will just do those in the morning um, because everything kind of resets after you have a test. So that's pretty much it. That is how I use my personal Anki decks along with the step um, or the pre-made Anki decks. It's pretty straightforward. Um, sometimes you might feel a little bit intimidated because you have a lot of cards. Um, I, I do okay because of two things. One, especially with that Boards and Beyond deck and the sketchy decks, even if you have a lot of cards to get through, you get through them really quickly. So 100 cards can go like this. Um, I also have a certain way that I make my personal Anki cards so that I don't have as many of them. Um, so that also helps me keep my card counts down. I never have any more than like 40, 45 Anki cards per lecture. And again, you can watch my Anki method video to see exactly how I make my cards to keep my numbers down. But it's really efficient this way. I like it so far. So I feel like I'm doing some light step preparation right now. Um, but yeah, if this video was helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified every time I post. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.